The second part of the SEC's cybersecurity guidance update is focused on preventing, detecting, and responding to cybersecurity incidents, both from a technical and operational standpoint. Your firm's security strategy should feature layers of security across all systems and data. This includes everything from antivirus software and hardware and software firewalls to intrusion detection systems, application filters, and encryption technology. The next step is controlling access. We recommend employing the principle of least privilege across all systems and data, thereby limiting access to only those who need it. As part of the data classification process, firms need to determine what data needs to be encrypted and what options are available. Confidential data should be encrypted in transit, and some firms may determine that critical information needs to be encrypted at rest as well. The SEC also advises firms to restrict the use of removable storage media and deploy software to monitor technology systems for unauthorized intrusions. Intrusion detection and prevention systems are key to preventing security breaches and protecting confidential data. Should an attack occur, having a solid backup and retrieval process is essential. Increasing ransomware attacks have highlighted the importance and role that backup plays in cybersecurity. Rapid incident response is critical to minimizing the impact of a security breach. With incident response plans in place and well communicated, employees can react swiftly and businesses can resume normal operations in a timely manner.